up guys welcome back to the channel so I've been working this week and I've been thinking about that car show we went to on Sunday man that was a nice show wasn't it so that was a two-day show and that show's been going on for 30 years I told you guys but years back I went to that show a couple times with some of my cars I had a nice Caprice with hydraulics and I had another uh, bubble Impala that I used to take to that show years back so it was good going back to that show after all the years and it's still going strong so that was cool cool to see but they had some nice cars there and a lot of custom paint jobs so I'm missing doing some of the custom stuff I used to do a lot of custom paint jobs and now I'm doing more collision work but the collision works nice because you get through them quick and you move on to something else where some of them custom jobs you're in them for a long time so I just wanted to uh, show you this one I'm working on now so I'm over here now just spraying this little side hit. It's just a fender, a new door and a blend, and then the bumper. So I'm gonna use the DV, uh, not the DV1, but I'm gonna use the Performance 3M on this one for base and try it out again on the silver. I like that gun for the base coat, so I'm gonna start using it more on base. It works good for the other stuff too, but I like it better for the, um, for the base coat. You can also, it's easy to clean, you can change out the cap on it and the head real easy. Clean the needle off and you're ready to roll so it, it doesn't have any problems with the gun spitting out different stuff with the colors. So I like it for the base. So stay tuned as we spray this one here and we'll talk about that show and some of the cool cars we've seen. Yeah, so I'm going to be using my uh, W400 again for sealer. I showed you that last time I was spraying the last job, but we're going to go ahead and seal it and then we'll start out with the 3M Performance gun for the base coat. So we got it all sealed, and uh, like I was telling you before, I'm using the W400 with the P30A, uh, which is the gray, because this is 700M, NH700M Honda color. But man, I, want, I couldn't believe some of them trucks over there at that show. They had the, um, a lot of the narrowed rears in them with the big, big lips in the back on the uh, trucks. I love the way they look with those big deep dish wheels in the back and then the uh, staggered front wheels. So mine are gonna be staggered, I'm picking up with the Cutlass. I'm not gonna have a big, big, big lip on them like that because you gotta narrow the rear to have that lip, but I'm gonna have a decent lip on mine. But yeah, I mean, those are some beautiful trucks over there and I like how they're all doing that now with, that, with the trucks. They're doing that with the uh, narrowed rears. They're doing the... Uh, Notching the, notching the frames and everything so they could drop them down low with bags and stuff. So definitely a, a cool look and the uh, cars definitely changed the look with those big lips that they're doing on them. I like that. And there was a heck of a lot of good cars there. So let's get into the base coat and uh, start shooting this one, guys. All right, guys, so we got the gun. We got the new head. And you guys know how that goes on. It just twists right on, locks into place, and we're ready to go. That's what makes that gun so nice. And again, I'm spraying with the 1-2, and you just hook up to your cup. And one thing I wanted to show you guys that I didn't show you guys last time and that could get you guys in a bind or get you out of a bind is if you're spraying water base, make sure you have the blue tops. Anybody knows with the PPS, the blues for the water base, but to anybody at home, any of you new guys that may be picking one up for the house, the clear is a, is a 200 micron, which is good for solvent, any kind of clears, sealers, or solvent base. But this is a 125 micron uh, filter that's built into the top of these. And this is for the water base. That's why they made it blue to, to identify it as a water base one. 
when I ordered the gun, they sent me these and I had to wait to get the water-based tops. So I got them now, so I'm ready to roll. Just thought I'd show you guys that to anybody that's new to the PPS. I'm usually using D-cups. So when I got these ordered, I forgot about the uh, blue tops and I had to order the blue ones. So anybody getting them, if you're spraying water, go for the blue ones, which is the 125 micron. And then the clear is for the uh, solvent. But just a little funny story, when I first got into using the water base, about 12 years ago, we got PPG in for a demo, and I loved the paint so much, and I talked them into leaving me some. I said, hey, let me finish spraying this job after the demo's over. And they're like, oh, we can't, we have to be here. I said, come on, you guys know I did a good job spraying it. So they went ahead and left me it, and they didn't realize they left me the wrong Micron strainers, and I ended up having trouble, the, the gun, was spitting out paint all over the place. And I, I called them up. I said, this stuff's acting like, you know, it's having major problems with it. And they had just did the demo. We really liked the paint. So the guy called me up and he said, what strainer did I leave you? And he let, left me the wrong strainer. So that's why I'm letting you guys know. I ended up having to redo that job and it made them look bad on their little demo they did. We still went with PPG, but just want to save you guys the hassle of redoing a job because this is too big of a, uh, the filter won't strain away all of the little particles in the water base. So make sure you get the right lids, guys. So let's spray this car. Put that one coat of base i did a back-to-back -back coat and let that dry now and i'll come in and do probably two light drop coats and then we'll clear this one so yeah i really like that 3m gun for the base it's easy to clean this latex is a pain in the neck on the guns it gets stuck in all the cracks i don't really care for it as far as cleaning the guns out so it's nice to have this gun here to just clean easily wipe the tip put a new uh, cap in it and even if you want to clean the um the, 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 um, the head on it, they clean easy because they're, they're nice slick um, plastic inside. So you don't have to change the head out every time you use that gun. You can easily clean the head, take it, take it off if you want, clean it. And I like the new feature of it being that the head twists on instead of having them clips because those clips would wear out. If you tried taking that off too many times to clean that head out, it would end up wearing the uh, little clips out and you couldn't get it to adhere good and you'd have that head that actually, it'd like to blow off and then twist because of the weight of the, uh, the fluid cup. So that new 3M, where they have that with the uh, screw head on it, I like that better because there's no wearing stuff that wears out. So you can actually take it off, clean it and put it back on and reuse it. So stay tuned guys as we put another coat on.
realized after having that gun for a week or so, I really like the way it sprays for the base coat. That's what I would use it for mainly. And I'm spraying that gun at about 12 PSI. It sprays well at 12 PSI. I got the fluid out and the, and the pattern in about a turn and a half on the, on, the, on the pattern. The fluid's all the way out. But it sprays a heck of a base coat gun. Uh, you've seen me spray the 800J with it, another silver job. And this one here is a silver. It's capable of doing whatever you want with it, but I like it for base. Uh, it's hard to beat the DV1 for the clear, the way it atomizes the gun, you know, the clear coat and uh, breaks it up. It's just a beautiful gun for clear, but you know, this, this gun here is definitely no slouch. You can definitely use it for anything, but for me, I like it for the uh, base coat. So I'll be using it for base, and if I need it for sealer or if I'm in a pinch and I need it for clear, I can do that, but I'll mainly use this gun for base coat because to me that's what it works the best for. So we'll put one more coat on of this and we'll go ahead and clear it. But it's definitely a good gun. I like it. It's definitely a well-made gun and it's better than the last one they had. Because I used to spray with the AccuSprays, which are the original version of these, the real metal body ones. And I used to like those guns. I sprayed with a 1.8 with the AccuSpray Isaac. And that was made by uh, AccuSpray. And they called the gun the Isaac because of uh, gravity, the Isaac Newton invented gravity, so he was the one who they named the gun after, AccuSpray did. So I have one of those still at the house, the old uh, Isaac, and it's a cool old gun. I don't use it anymore, but I got a buddy of mine that that's all he uses is those AccuSpray Isaacs. He's got about 12 of them and he's using them all the time because it sprays a beautiful coat. Uh, so they don't make them anymore, but this gun definitely is a good gun. So let's uh, stay tuned and finish this one up. So we'll put our final coat of base on guys, and then we'll be clearing this job with the DV1 guys. So stay tuned. Let's put this last coat of base on this one. Got it all based out. We're gonna let it dry a little bit and then we're gonna come back and clear it. So that's 700M and it's um, just the prime I went with. The prime's good on this chip. I've used it before. And it just lays a nice coat out that uh, base, the base gun for the uh, performance. So I like the gun a lot. I like the one too which is the blue head. It looks like it's got a color coded for the color of it. For the one, two, it looks like it's the blue one. So definitely a good gun for base coat and other things too, but I like it for the base. So let's go ahead and clear this job and uh, finish this one out. We're getting ready to clear it with the DV1, 1, 1 4, 24 PSI. I got it turned in one turn today because I'm using a different clear. Wide open fluid and turned uh, one turn in on the fan because I'm using CC950 which is appearance plus performance clear coat which is a higher solids clear so I like the way it sprays this one at uh, this this setting this setup so this clear is really awesome it's a thicker higher solids clear and it flows out a little bit more than the CC200 the CC200 is more of a, a faster snap but it's a great clear too but this is more of a, a glamour. So let's stay tuned and uh, clear this one, guys.
guys, let's check it out. It's all cleared, two coats of clear. It's got the uh, CC950, the glamour plus appearance plus performance. And it's got the uh, 904 hardener with the US4 reducer, but the DV1, guys, check it out. This thing laid off beautiful. This clear flows out a little bit more, like I was telling you, than the CC200. The CC200, once it goes on the panel, it immediately kind of kicks and it doesn't flow out much. Where this one here will actually flow a little bit more. So I like it. This is the last job of the day. I'm not gonna bake this one and I'm not in a time crunch. So I don't really have to use something fast. Cause that CC200 uh, only needs like a 15 minute bake. And then I can roll it out. This one here takes a little longer, but it lays out nicer. So beautiful clear as usual. The DV1 puts out a beautiful coat, guys. It ain't me, it's the gun and me, but together we, we get a nice finish. So stay tuned and uh, give some thumbs ups on this video and hit the subscribe button to anybody new. And if you wanna see the other videos with the other uh, one I sprayed with the performance gun, check out the last couple of videos. And uh, if you're new to the channel, this is all about auto painting, car shows, cars, everything uh, related to cars, car builds. I got a 72 Cutlass. I'm waiting on the wheels to be here any day and I'm real excited now that I've seen them, a couple of them big lips on some of them trucks. So stay tuned guys to the next video.